you over everyone what up welcome back to top tier arcade my name is steve and we're actually on my balcony right now i'm just finishing up the cigar i'm about to go get changed and uh, put my contacts in and head to doogie's and pablo's bar which is my buddy chase who's one of our pinball guys we're gonna head downtown where his bar is uh, see if we can get a word with him and you know how it all began but he did tell me it's gonna be busy so i may not be able to in a sense interview him but i will um do a full walkthrough of the place. Uh, he told me you can pretty much record whatever you want, say whatever you want, and uh, I also have to pick up my pin blades. Now the pin blades are for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but they're actually made for the Ghostbusters pin. Now it's not the official ones, it's the one that Pin Graphics made, but they fit perfectly, and I'll show you later, the theme of the actual Ninja Turtles game. They're very similar. So. We'll head to uh, Doogie's and Pablo's. We'll head up Ch you know, to Chase Place, talk to him, see if we can get a sneak uh, word in. And uh, if not, either the way, we'll do a uh, full uh, walkthrough of his place and check out um, Doogie's and Pablo's bar. So let's head to the car. Let's hit the Guelph downtown, which is just a couple of hours out of Toronto. And uh, we'll check it out. All right, guys, so we're heading to Doogie's and Pablo, so this is, um, you know, Chase Bar, one of our pinball guys. Like I said in the car, I forgot my, um, I forgot my, uh, my tripod and my kind of selfie stick. So the game plan is because it's, uh, it's a live van, I guess, on the Dooley's part, and then it's a, uh, and then the second part is Pablo, so it's another bar. It's the same bar, just combined. So we're gonna go in, it's gonna be a little loud, so I'm not gonna talk, I'm gonna just review the games, and uh, obviously you can see them, and I'll just see if I can yell them out, and then we'll get to the part where uh, we can start doing uh, the other side and talking a little more, because um, I've been trying to help Che to actually uh, fix one of the games since I've been here, because I know the arcade stuff uh, a little better than he does, he's more of a pinball guy. So let's head in. I guess I just told Che that I'm going to shoot a little video, so there I am here again. If it's a little shaky, I'm sorry, so let's head in again to uh, Dooley's and Pablo's. Uh, Doogie's and Pablo's, I'm sorry, this is downtown Guelph, Ontario. So that's a stacker game. It's been wrapped with perhaps blue ribbon beer. This is a rock on the rock and roll pusher. Don't oh, worry, don't worry. So this is uh, Ms. Pack. The, uh, something's up with the edge connector apparently. I'm gonna help him try to fix it, but he forgot the board at home, so that's down right now. Uh, tech, but we'll get it. Tech and tag. Uh, says does, oh, doesn't do that that well. A lot of the shooting games, Lethal Enforces, does pretty well. There's chair there, that's, that's our guy. There's chair there. There's a foosball, there's the live band. Nice guys actually, it's full space. They say uh, I site for Area 51. Any of the gun games do very well, is that bars? This is a uh, shuffle in, shuffle alley. Apparently this does very well. Um, Jay was telling me a lot of beer goes on this and falls on it. That's better. It's a pretty busy night. A lot of this is like a college crowd, like a school crowd. We'll head there later on, it's a little busier. Let's go to the back first. On the way, there's a nice cold beer. Chase said it does very well. It's a shuffle outlet. There's a revolution. Uh, Aerosmith, Gravity Hill, this is uh, kind of give a skill game. And it got a lot busier since I came. So there's a House of the Dead amazing monitor. It does very, very well. 
It's uh, Ultimate Mortal 3 in a Mortal Kombat 2 cab. It says it does okay. Um, I was helping him just fix some of these buttons. Now this is interesting. So Che asked me, hey, this is down. So what's happening is I've been working on it for the last half hour, seeing why a lot of people wanted to play it. It's interesting because it's in actually in a Street Fighter 1 cab and I was telling Che that it's actually pretty rare. Uh, artwork's a little beat up, but it's still a little rare, but interesting. The marquee comes on, the 12 volt, the uh, power lights come on, the lights come on. You, I was playing blind, I got it to play blind, I re, uh, reset the edge connector, but the uh, monitor is dead, there's no neck glow, and I've tried to just, you know, fiddle around with the uh, high voltage. Uh, and it doesn't work though, so he might have to get a, uh, um, a flyback replacement or a full cab kit, because a lot of those caps were like mushrooming and almost looking big, so it's the monitor. Uh, and then we have a Capcom Flipper football. I've never seen this one before. It looks pretty interesting. Uh, Big Buck Hunter. That does actually very well. Chase says a lot of the more interactive and easy games do well. Cruising always does well. Again, there's more other kissing. More foosball. And this is the football game. Chase said this does very, very well. Very, very well. Let's head down. Let's take a look at the pins. So we got a taxi. We got an Adam's family. He says this is one of the best playing pins. He does the best of sell. So best selling pin. Uh, played, I should say. Uh, King pin. He has these at uh, the, the EMs at 25 cents. They actually do pretty well just for easy playing. Sky jump. And he replaces them. He, he you know, refreshes the games pretty often. Uh, if they're not doing too well. Royal Rumble. This does okay. Shack Attack does really well. He said it's a lot of the college kids like this as well. Big Buck Hunter does okay. And then uh, Data E Star Wars, he does this does very well as well. So a good selection of pins, both a little more advanced than not. Alright, let me try to go through this crowd and try to get to the back. So it's gonna be a little shaky, one sec. So these are the uh, the basketball games. Chase says these crush. These do very, very well. A uh, dollar a play, there's a lot of money in this. He does very well with these, which makes sense. More easier, interactive. He does very well with them. What's that? This is the second bar area. See a lot of hot grills here. So that's just a quick walkthrough of Chase Bar. Um, I'm gonna head outside just to give you an update of what he was telling me. Whew. So just to. Um, I know that was a little quick, but again, it's a little busier and I know you couldn't hear, but you know what? That's a good selection of pins. I was talking to Che off the, um, you know, when before a lot of people came in around an hour ago and he was saying that, um, if you guys didn't hear me before, the pins do well, Adam's Family crushes it, Star Wars does well, Shack Attack does well, the other ones do okay. Um, the basketball game is uh, the number one, it kills everything as far as money and play. Uh, the football game does well as far as throwing, uh, you know, the football throwing game, that does very well. Ice cold beer also does very well. And um, we find that, he was telling me that anything really kind of easier and easy to play, not too complicated, is always the better ones. Um, games like the shooting games do well as well. So anything interactive and 
uh, for the years that he's been doing it, he says he just finds the more complicated ones. Like, the fighting games are okay. Again, we got to get uh, the Street Fighter 2 working. A lot of people have been asking to play it. And the Pac-Man as well. So he might take the Pac-Man into a... Um, he may make, may, might make the Pac-Man a 60-in-1. So uh, we were talking about that and the harness, if it's the same one. And I wasn't too sure because I haven't remembered. Or what I'll do is um, one day I'll take my Miss Pac, put the board in and diagnose the issue and see if he can get it working. But... Um, I was going to see if I can get kind of a, a, you know, a talk with Che to where the name came from and all that, but I know he's busy and he's actually working today, and um, we were talking about some pinball things. Now, the reason I came here, uh, other than to see Che and hang out, is um, my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pinball. Now, that was uh, when, when Che went to Allentown, the big pinball festival in Pennsylvania. What happened was... They were selling from um, from um, um, graphic. What's it called? Graphic. I can't remember now the company. The uh, pin graphics or whatever it else. They were selling these. The blade. Oh yeah. They were selling the blades. The uh, where was I? They're selling the uh, actual Ghostbuster blades. And um, right after I cut the segment, I'll I'll cut to it while we're in the car and driving back home. So. Uh, the, what was I, what was I, um, yeah, so the pinball blades that are for Ghostbusters he got for me in Allentown that actually fit the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle theme with the same artwork, you know, with the, with the buildings with the yellow lights on, which is just like the uh, arcade game and also the cartoon. So that's why I wanted to get in. So I came to just, you know, check out Chase Bar, do a little video, talk to him about what's up. And uh, great, Chase a great guy and just gives me an idea of what's, you know, what plays and what sells and, what the crowd's like. So, if I don't if I don't cut the chain, do a little interview. I not interview, but in a sense, just to you hear what he's saying. It's only because he's working, and uh, we didn't have time. But that's pretty much what he told me. What sells, what doesn't. He says it's a, again the college crowd, as you can see, and um, you know he says it does pretty well. So, um, what we'll do is, um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll cut to the car and I'll show you the you know the pin blades that I got I'm gonna go wash up because I've been um, I've been trying to play with a Street Fighter but you know the interesting thing is um, in all like my skill that I've learned and I'm definitely not the best at this I've you know now I'm able to kind of determine what the problem is or where it's coming from and both reading online and seeing no neck low on the Street Fighter 2 that it had it you know to monitor the issue and I've you know checked the wires so um, let's head to the car. We'll talk a little about the pin blades and I'll show you there. And then we'll wrap up the video. Yikes. All right, everyone. So it's the next morning after visiting Doogie's and Pablo's. That was Chase Bar. I uh, had a good time, you know. It was uh, pretty busy. Kind of a rough crowd. Uh, when I was, I was actually going to film in the car. And then police came right behind me. I'm like, oh, great. Now what? I thought I was going to get a... Um, uh, parking ticket because it's downtown Guelph in Ontario like uh, around two hours out of Toronto hour and a half two hours and it, not at all actually they were going because there was a I saw two fights outside this is crazy white kids going nuts you know it, it was it was crazy I mean you know what I'm out because I left at around 1 45 and I still had like an hour and a half you know trek home so I'm like forget it anyway so uh, great place. Check it out. The address is in the description below if you ever want to check it out. Um, you know, Che runs it very well. It's very clean. Uh, good beer. And, uh, you know, there's pin there. Actually, I think they run a, a pinball tournament there or a league, if I'm not, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So it's, uh, it's a great place. Uh, it has a good variety. So this is uh, why I went to see Che, other than just to hang out. So these are the Ghostbusters pin blades from pin graphics now you might be saying but wait a minute the, why are you going to put this on your ninja turtles well the thing is the artwork on this looks exactly like the ninja turtles so it fits very well like there is a few different versions there's one with like green slime <coughs> excuse me with slimer which would have also worked because of the ooze for the ninja turtles so i'm like this actually looks like the cartoon in the 90s the uh, video game in the 90s, uh, like the beat-em-up, 
and it, and it fits the theme very well. Not to mention, let me just quickly run to the pin. See, look at like you know, look at the look at the artwork. So it's like a lot of buildings, um, a lot of buildings. So there's going to be buildings there, you know, there, and then I'm going to have the toys here, and then it's hard to. It, it's hard to see because I'd have to have the glass off, but right there, I know that's tough to see. See how there's kind of yellow right there? Well, that the actual plastic has the yellow that's going to be on the on the artwork. So I'm wondering if maybe they wanted to a fit like you know actually do that, and then they never did. But either way, so that's um, these are going to be put on uh, later on. You know when I get the play field uh, restored. So. Uh, I had a great time at Chase, like I said. I don't want to uh, extend the video. So this is a great pickup. Uh, I think these are going to work very well. They look great. And uh, thank you, Chase, if you're watching, for picking them up at Allentown in Pennsylvania, which just passed 2017. So, guys, it's been a pleasure. Thanks you, uh, thank you again for checking out Top Tier. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, there's a lot coming up. Again, the restoring uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pin. There's going to be on the road or, uh, you know, top tier on tour videos like I just did at different places. Uh, whether it be a business, a, uh, you know, a restaurant, an establishment, a bar or a friend's house or whatnot. Um, so that's it. All the best and thank you for checking out top tier. Peace.